This game's a little bit of a wild one. We've got Nat1 Gaming, Big Dan himself running that Rurik Thar. I've run into Rurik Thar so many times and this deck is terrifying. It makes you really think about every single spell that you're gonna play. You can definitely get caught in a corner with this one. We've got Mono White Border coming in with some wild on left field running Skeleton Tribal. We were talking on the socials and uh, he brought up, hey, Skeleton Tribal, let's see. Can it fuck with CEDH and you know what? You're gonna have to watch and find out. This was a really wild one. We have Dead On Board coming back again with AV, I think, Ave, Agave, the Progenitor Ooze. This thing is Ooze Storm Tribal. I've played against it a bunch of times and it absolutely slaps. God forbid there's a couple of creatures or spells cast and you make five, six of those things in a row. It's ooze for days, guys. You know we gotta keep it gooping out here. And then I'm running that Marin. This is my baby. You've seen it a million times. We'll see how it stacks up against this pod, guys. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to smash those buttons. Like, subscribes, everything is helping us. The channel's been growing more than ever, guys. We're trying to reach another milestone. I wanna see that 2,500 followers. You guys are helping us crush it. So thank you so much. Just wanna give a huge, huge shout out to our sponsors, Alter Sleeves and Mythic Frames. If you want to bling that deck out, but don't want to buy foils of every single card in there, but make them look unique and cool, altersleeves.com is the way to do it. Go ahead and hit that link below. And if you use that link, it's going to help support the channel. We get an affiliate bonus out of it. And it's also going to make your deck look super dope. You can also use Mental Misplay at checkout. We also want to give a huge shout out to Moxfield, our new sponsors. We absolutely love these guys. It is the premier deck building website. There are so many amazing features that I could literally go on the length of this entire video and talk about them and still not be able to hit them all. Go ahead and follow us on Moxfield. Set up an account for yourself. It's free. Throw a deck list up in the comments. Let's see what you got. Also want to let you guys know we've got a brand new bonfire shop up. Some of our shirts will be evergreen up there, like the Mental Misplay logo shirt, some of those things. We'll also have an exclusive shirt that's going to match our exclusive Patreon and Twitch subscriber altar sleeve that we're putting out. All of our $5 patrons this month, as well as all of our Twitch subscribers, get a free altar sleeve. It is a Underworld Breach altar sleeve. You know we gotta rep those CEDH staples, and it is retro horror movie poster inspired. We're gonna pop it up on the screen like here. Or maybe here. It's an amazing thing. We're so psyched to be partnered with Alter Sleeves doing this. So please sign up. It helps support us and you get a free thing and free shipping. It's amazing. Thank you guys so much. Consider joining the Patreon. Enjoy this game. It's going to be an absolute steamer. Thank you for watching. Uh, I'm ready to party when y'all are. I've got my seven. Uh, let me know when we're good to go. I'm all set. I'm ready too. Awesome. Went down to six, but I'm ready to go. Anybody got any uh, any pregame actions? No? Take it away, Dan. All right. Go ahead and start off with a Misty Rainforest, which I'm going to go ahead and crack and grab a Taiga, which I will use to play a Ragavan. Ooh. And I will pass the turn if there's the, no responses. The hard cast Ragavan. Well done. That is I'm so good. good. I'll draw a card and do exactly what I set out to do. I'm going to play a swamp and cast Sanitarium Skeleton. Nice. The perfect Ragavan blocker, I might add. <laughs> yeah. Sanitarium Skeleton is a a one, one a one two. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll start, and I got a forest. And then I will play Abundant Harvest. Uh, I'm going to choose land and reveal cards off the top till I hit a land. I've been seeing that Abundant Harvest more and more. Like, I've been seeing it in all different decks. It's crazy. It's cool. It also helps because I only had one land in hand. <laughs> choose land or non-land. Reveal cards from the top till you put a reveal of the chosen kind. Put it into your hand. The rest on the bottom. It's so it's such a crazy card that I've seen it running in all different decks recently. Awesome. Uh, what's up, Vile Smashed? I see you. What the fuck is up, Denny's? Um, uh, is that the turn from there? Yep. Awesome. Big draws. Let's get it. I'm going to drop a Blooming Marsh as I've got... Uh, that's my first land, and I'm going to tap it for you. Boy, it's it's Dino time. Allosaur Shepherd, and I'm going to pass from there. And everyone's got Ragavan blockers except me. Get punched. Wonder where Ragavan's gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely towards the sanitarium skeleton. <laughs> oh, he's got a grudge. My, my deck has the heaters for sure. 
I mean, Ragavan's a uh, a monk, a, a monkey pirate. He just wants to go back to his ship. Yeah, join my crew. <laughs> part of the ship, part of the crew. Yep. Um, I am going to go ahead and move to combat and swing Ragavan at Steven. Uh, well, I don't have any blocks, so I'll take the hit for two, and then I will exile a Nikto. <laughs> so that that kind of hurts. <laughs> that's, that, that um, definitely, that's tough. I mean, I almost have to do it for the memes now. I'm going to play a Nykthos. Yep. <laughs> now, is that, go ahead and crack. Is that your Nykthos, or is that... Did you not get to play... You don't get to play lands with Ragavan, is that correct? Oh, it says cast. Yeah, okay. play cast. That's really funny. It's, <laughs> but you we'll go ahead treasure, and so. I will pop my treasure and pop a taiga and I will play Vexing Shusher. <laughs> I got the uh, budget Allison out. <laughs> That's very scary. No, all will... my mono green counter spells. <laughs> I saw we'll pass the turn. I played a game against I think on the first episode of Mental Misplay, the very, very first one. Uh, somebody came on here, played a Nether Void, and followed it. Uh, played a Vexing Shusher in a Nether Void, and was making their spells uncounterable for one mana, and like outpacing us that way. It was very scary. <laughs> of the first pods I was a part of had a uh, Sithis player and a Krakashima player, and I literally went turn one Cavern of Souls, naming Ogre, Mana Crypt, Jeweled Lotus, Rurik Thar. Ah, that's amazing. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to go to combat, and I'm going to send one towards uh, Alan. Yep, I'll eat it. Don't want to don't wanna block with your with nah. your shepherd? Nah, he can I chill. He can chill. I get it. All right, I'll pass. Let's see. I didn't even see Lenny just resubs. Yo, big ups to Lenny. Thank you so much for the resub. Seven months is crazy, bro. I had... uh, well, I will cast a non-blocker and roll the medallion. And I will be done after that. All right, let's get it. Untap. Big draws. That's going to be... We're going to play... Hmm. We're going to do a tapped overgrown tomb. And I'm going to tap... Oh, no, it doesn't work. Uh, I'm going to do a tapped overgrown tomb and pass. I'm going to untap. Go ahead and draw. I'm going to go ahead and go to combat. I will swing the E at Steven again. I got no block. Other two. And I will exile uh, Realm Walker. Realm. Another good one. We'll go ahead and a... a Pulsion Forest. I cast a Mana Crypt. That's pretty. Responses? No response. Nope. Tap the Forest for Colorless, the Taiga for a Red, pop the Treasure for a Green. Thar? Yep. Yep. And I will pass turn. All right. Does Rurikthar have trample? Vigilance and reach. Nice. Okay. Attacks each turn if able. Sweet. Skeleton, get ready to uh, be a blocker for the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play a land. I'm gonna play swamp and cast a desecrated tomb and uh, pass the turn if that resolves. I assume you're taking six off of that? 
Yeah, yeah, take six. <laughs> Let's go. Definitely worth it. Solid. Uh, I mean, I, I understand. Problem. I'm going to be taking six pretty soon. <laughs> I'm going to be taking 12. Oh, God. I'm going to cast an <laughs> arcane segment. And then I'm going to cast a three visits. Worth it. That's big ramp. Yeah. Painful ramp. Uh, and I'll be done after that. Ouch. Yeah. That turn three Rurik Thar is no joke. Uh, untap. Big draws. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Seven. Desecrated to me. Um, I'm going to drop off Frixian Tower as land for turn. And I will do... Mm, it's not quite as fun as I wanted. We're going to do... Two, three, four. And I'm going to play Marin. And... As long as that resolves, I will proceed to end of turn. Marin trigger, target, Allosaur, Shepherd. Shepherd back in hand. Pass turn. Full for crypt. If I get evens, I will take the pouchies. Take the pain. Almost defaulted to thinking to click six because of Rurikthar. That'd have been a <laughs> lot more than it needed to be. I will go ahead and play a Kessig Wolf run. Uh oh. That's <laughs> scary. Uh oh. <laughs> and I will go ahead and go to combat. I will swing the monkey and the vexing Shusher, Steven and Rurik Thar at Alan. Yep, I will take six. You get a forest. And um, I'll go ahead and call turn. Cool. I'll untap and draw for turn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now we're cooking. I'll play an island. And uh, <laughs> I will cast the Diabolic Tutor. <laughs> I believe this is a CEDH staple, right? Yep. This is the one, definitely. Absolutely. <laughs> I'll take six. There's this. There's a skull on it. You got the art with the skull. I see what you yep. did. Yep. 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 A full approval here. Um, I've. i almost. So the lands. I mean, you've got. I guess there's. There's water on the lands, so that's pirate shippy, right? Like. Right. 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 The islands are stretching it because the the swamps are easy. Those have skulls on them. Okay. But the, right. The islands. The islands are stretching it. So there's that secret lair. That uh, all of them are skeletons. Like, they're all skeletons. I don't know if you guys remember that one. I don't remember what it's called. I think it was the Heavy Metal Land one, right? No, uh, maybe. Maybe. But it's, I really would like to get my hands on some of those. But uh, that's going to be tricky to do. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, those are the, um, the cr Crushing Brutality. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's definitely it. They're gorgeous, too. All right, um, all right. Okay. I think I found the, the creature. Okay. Uh, I got my card. And I'm still just going to pass the turn. Okay. All right. That not great. So I guess 
For four mana, I'm going to play a Splitting Slime. Another CDH All-Star. It's a 3-3 three, three Ooze with uh, Monstrosity 3 for uh, 6 green. Uh, when it becomes monstrous, it gets a token copy of itself that's not a monstrous. All right. Uh, and that will be it. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm looking here, uh, Peter, and there's there's a solid amount of basic islands with, like, ships and stuff on them. So that's it looks like one of the D&D &D ones. Uh, has a ship on it. That's what I so that's I never even thought about it, Alan. This is the first time I'm even thinking about it, like trying to get all the basics to have skeletons in the art. Yeah. Or some sort of nautical theme in the art. Yeah, I there, should definitely I should definitely be doing that. There's a there's an island from the D D set with a pirate ship on it. Uh or a ship at least. Uh there's a bunch of other stuff too. And then what I would look at is the um the jumpstart land from I believe the reanimate jumpstart pack yeah, yeah, has yeah. a bunch of six skeletons coming out of a swamp. It's honestly my favorite one. Um, all right, we're gonna untap. Uh, big... I can certainly say I like those more than the uh, the arcane islands that are coming out. Um, the arcane islands from the the uh, the arcane League of Legends secret layer drop that's supposed to be dropping in like six days. Oh, okay, and they put the lands in that, and they're kind of like, eh. Yeah, right? the island is the picture of a sky. <laughs> Very islandy. Big draws. <laughs> uh, I'm going to drop a swamp as land for turn. I will... I don't like this choice. Um, That Ragavan has me real worried. Um, I'm going to tap one... For Allosaurus Shepherd, and I will, I will crunch the Allosaurus Shepherd right away. I'll I'll crunch the skull, um, and I will cast an Imperial Seal. That's why I really don't like the Ragavan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I've got yeah. one, I've got one experience counter. Me, Alan, the player. I will put it on. Uh, I'll find a an emblem. A cool emblem to put it on momentarily. Here we go. We've got the non the non foil ramp gang token. That's that's my uh, experience counter emblem for me, Alan, the player who has one experience. Um, I will lose two life. No, let's try that again. Uh, Will of the Council, what's up? Thank you so much for turning up. Uh, I'm glad you're here to root for skeletons. I will tutor. I'm gonna go look for a thing. I do have one black floating. I'm going to go get one of these things. Where is it? I know I've got one. Um, oh, no. It threw Dan back into the waiting room, Alan. <laughs> what's that? Dan got yeah. booted? In the Discord, Dan got booted back into the waiting room. I'm not really sure why. There you go. But Sorry just, about that, Dan. Message in Twitch chat. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sorry, we just disconnected me. No, we just need to talk some crap about you real quick. <laughs> yeah, we got it out of our system though, mm -hmm. so it's all good. Everybody who's who's watching knows all the crap we talked though for sure. Yeah, it was. Uh, cool. We had to strategize against that work there. About that. <laughs> I know two people from my LGS are actually were actually tuned in at the get go, so I can uh, out all the crap that was talked. I seen um, <laughs> somebody. Uh, somebody said they they were cracking jokes on you. I'll, I'll see if I can find it. Um, I, I thought did too uh, much damage, so they exiled you. <laughs> they mentioned uh, Zervos, who is my uh, Tron playing modern friend, who's actually just starting to get into Commander. Uh, there's Blackwell, I think it was. Yeah, Blackwell was talking about crabs, I think. Uh, yeah, you you're, said, <laughs> he, you're, said you're acting crabby. Um, he is printing this deck box that is a crab's claw that is probably this big. That's awesome. That's sick. It's perfect, good. Um, I saw Alan. You did an Imperial Seal. Yes. Um, that's why I'm so worried about the the Ragavan. I put a card on top. I tick down two life. The cards on the top. Um, I you will, take six off of casting. That? I will take six off of casting that. Um, and I will proceed to end. Marin Trigger will target the Allosaur Shepherd. And I will pass the turn. We'll untap. 
keep trigger on crypt. If it's evens, I take the pain. Roll off the screen and roll a three. I will be safe. Unless you guys want me to re-roll that. You're good. Yep. We'll draw for turn. I have my trigger token up here. We'll go ahead and play a wooded foothills and pay a life and crack it to shock in a stomping ground. Yep. Conveniently near the bottom of my library. So I will go ahead and go to combat. I will swing Ragavan and Rurik Thar at Allen. And vexing Shusher at uh, Steven. Uh, I've got a 3 3. And you do? Yes. That was stupid on my part. About that. Okay. And uh, so if, if the attack still stands, I'll block. If not, I don't mind you sending it somewhere else. I declared it. It's good. All right. And Ragavan just needs to deal combat damage. Um, Correct. I will, uh, before blocks, right? Um, I'm going to, hmm, I'm going to probably take another six damage. Love that. Um, I'm going to take like a sh bunch of Kessig damage regard if I take care of Ragavan. It's nice because I'm like either taking a big pile of damage or taking a bunch of damage. Um, that's really fun. <laughs> um, I'm <laughs> going to tap two and I'm going to abrupt decay the Ragavan. And ugh, uh, I will block the. I'll just take the six off of Rurikthar. So no blockers for Rurikthar? No blockers on Rurikthar. All right. Oh, uh, before damage goes through. Uh, am I taking 10 instead of six? I kind of feel like I am. <laughs> Ragavan's gone. I will. Go ahead and pay two to activate Nykthos to mm -hmm. add um, mana equal to my devotion to red, which is currently three. Devotion to red, okay. Um, so three, five, taking care of the green and red. Got one, two, three, four, um, him plus five. Oh, nice. Uh, that'll be 11. Uh, I will, I guess, respond to the Kessig Wolf Run activation. Uh, I don't, I don't like where this is going. Um... I'm probably in trouble here. Um, 11 will put me at 8, which leaves me in that space we talked about that I can only play one spell space. Um, if I do this... Um, well, 
Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna deadly relic uh uh on on Rurikthar. I'm gonna Zorch him. And I'll take another six from that, go to thirteen. And mana curves, we got Chase raiding with a party of seventeen. It is live as hell out here. Um Chase, thank you for the raid. It's good to see you. I hope you deck building went good. Um so, sorry to be fun police, Dan. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. <laughs> I, I mean, I took. No, I don't know if it was the fun police or an EMT. I took, <laughs> yeah, I, I still took twelve damage to do it. So I mean, yeah, you're like not not super mad. Um, all right, that's it for me. All right, the doors are open now. I'll draw a card. Oh man, that's a cool card. I'll play a swamp. Uh, man. Chances are any random card out of any of your guys' decks is stronger than the card I tutored for. <laughs> I don't know. I've got I've got a card that probably is the same power level. <laughs> um. Ah, but I want to do this thing. I'm gonna do the thing I want to do instead of the thing. Yeah, I'm gonna play Demir House Guard. It's a two-three with fear and sacrifice a creature, regenerate it. Nice. And then I'm going to attack Dan for one. I haven't even done nothing to you. <laughs> you're, you're you, also, dealt, you dealt 12 damage to me. You're, you're leaving off um, the Demir House Guard has Transmute, which is That's super true. cool. Um, I use, only, only if he's not in the field. Oh, yes, he has Transmute yeah. uh, about one action ago. Um <laughs> I was building, uh, I built um, what uh, an artisan deck. I built that artisan elves deck. Uh, where is I don't even know where I put it, but the um, the the black and green elf partners from Commander Legends, and I built it to be this like kind of comboy aristocracy deck, and. Uh, Labman Cam was in the chat while I was building it. And he was like, put Demir Houseguard in it. And I was just like, oh my god. Like, it does so many things. That for, card is, for CMC is the correct CMC it, for uh, for your transmute cards. It, Perplex it, it, is another sweet transmute card. I'm done. I'm, I'm that, pretty impartial to Muddle the Mixture. Muddle yeah, the Mixture is yeah, a good one. Yeah, two drops are that's, nasty. That's gotten very popular. Um, I've been, I'm good to go. I've yeah, been, go ahead, Steve. I've been using Brain Spoil in uh, in Dina to get five drops, and it's a Turbo <laughs> Nas deck. Uh, it works real good. <laughs> Transmute's just a sweet mechanic. It's a Shout crazy card. Yeah, big ups Transmute. <laughs> uh, two mana is going to get me an exor inexorable blob. Uh, it's a 3-3 three, three with Delirium. But I don't have Delirium, but I do have six, seven, eight, nine. I do have a great henge, though. Oh shit! I have exactly enough with my creatures. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Need need some of that life gain back. Yeah. Uh, and then for two mana and gain two, uh, actually, I have I need only one, but I'm gonna Kenrith's transformation on Marin. Oh no! <laughs> um, Marin turns into an elk. Um, and it's not destroy her and turn it into. Is it? Is it Oko style? Is it? It's um. It's uh. Yeah. It transforms. It doesn't destroy. It's an aura. Yeah. Yeah. Big uh, on an suck. ETB, I will get to draw off one green floating. I can't do anything with that one green, so I will pass after that. Actually, never mind. I can hit Dan for three. All right, that one's fair. You dealt 12 to me, Dan. <laughs> I did not deal 12 to you. You dealt 12 to you. I believe Rurkthar <laughs> says Rurkthar deals 6 damage to that player. <laughs> that wasn't me. You very easily could have not cast those spells. <laughs> <laughs> I just want point. people to play good, wholesome magic and win through combat damage like Richard Garfield intended. <laughs> I, I did an elk. I've got an elk now. Um, I'm actually pretty proud Looks of that Looks a bit one. more like a uh, Appalachian, not a deer from here. <laughs> it 
it's, it could be. Um, that's the uh, that's the turn, Steve. Yep. All right, here we go. Uh, big draws. Hey, I remember that card. Um, we're gonna do one uh, swamp. We're gonna do one swamp. Uh, I will. Let's see. Two. Four. And then we get one. Oh no. Five, six, seven. That's trouble. Um. Oh, hmm. Okay. Uh, that's less fun. Um, I'll do two for a survival of the fittest. Seems like a good one. It's, I'm not mad at it. Like it's, it's there, right? Um, and I will, uh, I'll pass from there. Yep. Yeah. Untap. Trigger my mana crypt. If it's evens, I take the pain. X. My mana crypt wants to kill me today. Get a mana crypt. Um. A will of the Council with a follow, and also a Reesmont TV with a follow. Thank you, guys. Sorry I don't notice them right away. Uh, I'm terrible at that. I will go ahead and do smart things. I will tap two and I will play a reclamation sage. Sponsors? Um <laughs> Madness. I, I assume you're hitting that uh the crypt. Or <laughs> <laughs> mana crypt, right? The the tomb. He's he's gonna blow up the the um the desecrated. No, what what is it? The it's already been desecrated. The you desecrated, desecrated tomb. Again? Oh, um, Red Sage enters. Oh uh, yeah, I've no response. Yeah. <laughs> yep. um, target survival. Yeah, that's fair. It's exploded. And yeah, I'll just go ahead and pass turn. All right. Untap. Draw a card. Oh, yeah. Engines are online. All right. Play a land. I'm going to play a Mortis Strider. And I'm going to sacrifice it to my Demir House Guard. It'll die, and then I'll return it to my hand, and when it leaves the battlefield, I'll get it back. Yep. And then I'll cast Mortis Strider again. Oh, damn. Engines assembled. Look out. Where are you um, and I got a regenerative shield on this Demir House Guard. Let's go. What's Rex Age? A 2-2? Two, 2-1? Two? Two, one? 1. Coming for 2 at you, Dan. And two, three, yep. and uh, I will pass the turn after that. Oh, <laughs> Steve turned into fucking R two D two. Steve scared of my combos. Fully, I'm glad that wasn't just on my end. No, his <laughs> like, oh, please, went, no. His screen went back black and he's 
said, boop, 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 beep, boop. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. He fully got like assimilated just now. <laughs> oh, what? Steve, come back. Uh, we're going to technical difficulties, everybody. Please Steve stand come by. Back. <laughs> Blame it all on me. His, uh, his CPU just couldn't handle the power of my interactions here. Man, they are long. He is long gone. Uh, his computer crapped out. Um, we'll see if he comes back. Oh, there he is. He's in the waiting room. Let's drag him in. Steve, are you with us? Not quite yet. He's almost <laughs> with us. Well, bear <laughs> thank you for being patient, everybody. Let's, uh, let's talk about cards while we're waiting. Um... Has so what what cards from the new set is everybody like super horny for? <laughs> like, oh, neat. I mean, those full art basic lands, they're pretty cool. I put one of the, the planes is is in my Mangara deck. I cracked a few of them yesterday. I was kind of surprised though, because like almost all of them are this like crazy illustrated style and then i've got this like island and this mountain that are like that are like really painterly style it's like really weird i was really like they a, share the same artist they're different art they are yes they have the same artist but all the other artists are like all of them are like this super kind of like dur what durer style like super they look like wood woodcuts or like etching mm -hmm. style and then these two are like really kind of more painterly which is a little surprising uh though uh peter you will be happy to know that this one here uh basic land 270 um does i believe i believe we're looking at a at a wrecked pirate ship here on this one hey there we go so so you're getting there there's um, plenty of there's plenty of more uh, more nautically and pirate inclined islands that I need to be digging for. And it looks like this this swamp both of these swamps have some like skull shit going on on them. There's like some skeletons in there. I think we got like some some ribs and shit in there and that's like a little dude there, I think. So <laughs> so you're getting there. It's getting, oh, yeah. it's doing it. But I love the, I love these. I think they're super pretty. I've, I actually hadn't seen any of them in person. Um, I've, I've found that they work best as like splat, like you put one or like a couple in a deck and that they work better and they like really pop surrounded by color. Yes. But if your entire mana base is black and white, it, they kind of get lost a little yes, bit. That definitely makes a lot of sense. So they're I like feel... accent pieces. Blinging out your deck is, uh, is becoming more and more nuanced of a project. <laughs> like, I, I got to get the right accents here. Can't have too many of one border. And when every card has like eight different treatments. Yeah, so true. It looks I'm glad they uh, reprinted Thalia. Look, glad to look at looking to pick that up for uh, six oh, yeah. formats. And they, like, they did like a couple versions, right? Is there like multiple versions of them? And one of them is like that it, super pretty black and white one. Yes. Yeah. You've got yeah. the regular art. There's the um, black and white art, which is a different art from the color one. Mm -hmm. And there's also the uh, Dracula alternate frame. She's, uh, I believe, Mina Harker. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know she has one of them. I forget off the top of my head. But yeah, that's definitely a fun one. I mean, it's on that should come down a decent bit not that it was overly expensive but when you're looking at picking up like four copies of a card it's a lot more yeah i'm yeah you're looking at like you know like what i don't even know how much she was before that but i'm sure that'll drive the price down in good ways you know um it was sitting right about 10 her new yeah. arts i think her base model new art is sitting right about four yeah, yeah. that's that's so much nicer um so something I noticed, which I thought was really strange, is that for the most part, um, regular border stuff from the commander set, from the new commander decks, regular border stuff is less expensive than the extended border stuff. Um, like um, this this card I built just now, this uh, our boy Ombris. Uh, an extended border Umbris was like 
17 and the regular border one was in the 20s. And the same with uh, wedding ring. A uh, regular uh, extended border wedding ring was $12 and a regular border one was like $17. I was like, that's crazy. That mm -hmm. people, just, people are just... It happened with the. It happened in Zendikar too. It ended up that you could get like these the extended MDFCs for cheaper than the normal border. I don't really know why. I, I don't know if it's because they appear in more product. Maybe like maybe the fact that they appear in collector boosters. I think that's it. I think the collector boosters are like just, the people are just opening more of those and also probably wanting to flip more of those than the people mm -hmm. who are opening them in commander decks and just being like I'm I'm. Like I don't, I don't know. It's, it's 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 weird. It's weird that, I mean, I I should check the quantity on them, like see like how much of each of them are selling, because that would definitely make a difference as well. Uh, Crossfire Cat with the sub at tier one. Thank you so much. That's twelve months, twelve fucking months you've subscribed for is on. It's mind boggling to me. The fact that I've been out here doing this for a year is absolutely insane. Um, it looks like. Steve has started up his video, um, but I'm still missing audio from him. He's like got video on in the chat here. Um, so I don't know. Just what know he's alive. That's about. Um, it also, it said he was muted, so I have no idea. Um, but, but yeah, he's... If you can hear us. I'm going to... Yeah. Clap twice. I, I mean, I could sit here and talk shop about the new set like all night, honestly. Um, but I hella want Steve back in here. I could shoot him a DM. I, uh, I've been really lax on staying up to date, like with spoilers or anything. I just really don't pay attention to it and just kind of. So I'm like super behind on the new set. Like, I'm still discovering cards in Midnight Hunt. Yeah. They're like, oh, that's pretty neat. Absolutely. And, uh, and so I just kind of take, I, especially now, I just take sets at my own pace because I don't really buy sealed product. I pretty much only buy singles, mm -hmm. and uh, so I just get to have my own little, my own little spoiler season when I'm ready for it. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, hey, that's kind of cool. And and there's so much. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, you you're good. I was gonna say there's so much stuff coming out now that it's easy to get burned out. Yeah. Like release after release. One thing I've found that helps me a lot is I only pay attention fully to the sets that impact mats that I play. So like I don't play standard. I don't yeah. pay a ton of attention to standard sets. So that way when Modern Horizons comes around, when Commander Legends comes around, I still get that feeling of excitement mm -hmm. to look for the highlights and not yep. from the other sets. I like uh, I like digging around in old sets for like hidden gems and you know like sneaky cards that no one's heard of. And now Same I kind of get that feeling with new sets because I don't really pay attention to them. And they happen so quickly that people miss some of the commons and uncommons that are kind of spicy. I missed one from Midnight Hunt that like lets you tutor an enchantment to the top of your library and that's on a creature. I forget yeah. what it's called, but it's just like, oh, hey, that's like a, it's a uncommon that just gives me another access to an enchantment tutor in a casual deck. Like, that's sweet. Yeah, they, and it's, and what you said about it, like, being your own spoiler season is super relevant because, like, you miss these cards and then you see them, whether it's somebody playing them or somebody suggests it to you, and you're like, when the fuck did that card come out? Yeah. Like, wh how did I miss that? And it's like, well, I, yeah, we know how you missed it, but at the same time, it's, like, so wild to see it. It's, it becomes your own spoiler season for you because you get excited for it, you know? You get, it like super jazzed up about this card that you missed the first time around and the satisfaction of just getting your ass kicked by a card printed last set that you've never heard of is actually really high like oh my god that's a card that got printed like i'm gonna pick up like it, it reminds me of when i first started playing magic you know in high school and you know every game it's like someone played a new card and just like wow what, what this card is beating the crap out of me and i've never heard of it and they're it's also spread super wide because there's like there's a bunch of cards from um, the commander sets as well. So like if you sit down to play commander with somebody and they're just playing even just a pre-con, odds are you're seeing 
10 to 12 new cards that you're just like what like whether or not they're from the set itself or from the commander set they're gonna have a deck full of wild shit that you're like i have no idea what this is or what this is doing um and it's been really it's something that i've been trying to tune into a little bit more is the the care that they're putting into the pre-constructed commander decks. They're yeah. making them much different than they used to. Um, and it's, it's palpable. Like, so I played a game the other day. So I built, I did, I spent this whole, like a whole bunch of time uh, rebuilding M vanilla Marin. So I've got this vanilla Marin deck now that I, that like, it's awesome. Cause it's vanilla Marin. Like I'm psyched about that. Right. <laughs> but I've been like, oh, yeah, I'm playing a pre-con and I'll sit down with somebody like I sat down on Monday uh, and I played a game with Alias and she was running. Uh, or it wasn't quite a vanilla. It wasn't quite a pre-con, but she was running like a vampire deck. And it was just like the difference was just like so massive. And so mm -hmm. I've sat down with people who are just like, yeah, I'm running like whatever pre-con. And the difference in power level is just absurd between like five years ago and now um yeah. uh, <laughs> hyboria yeah, has been playing with pre-cons and having the best time ever and that's that's what i'm seeing more and more is that the pre-cons that they're putting out now are just like they're they are absolute powerhouses compared to where they used to be which is really cool and it's because they're focusing them harder they're right so like like the they did two with call time. They did two like and they were cheaper too. They were way less expensive, I think. And uh I heard that the Golgari Elves one from there is like absolutely bonkers. Like with very, very few upgrades, that deck becomes extremely uh extremely playable, which I'm very interested in. And I've been kicking myself in the ass for not buying the uh the gruel um the gruel one from the D D set. Because I've heard that deck is absolutely out of control. One of the one of the problems the original precons had, I felt like, is they relied on the games being interesting because of variants. And these new precons don't feel as reliant on variants. Like if you look at some of those older precons, it's just like there's it's kind of reminds me of a limited format. Like you need to draw your one or two bombs and like it completely changes how the game looks. And these current precons are just like hey, here's cards that have synergies, and if you draw your synergies, you do well, which feels a lot more satisfying to both enfranchised players and new players, because new players feel like they're figuring out the game, and enfranchised players feel like they're figuring out the cards. And So it's it, it still caters to both audiences, and I think that's a really, really big boon for those pre-con decks. Absolutely. Some of them are really spicy. Uh, my play group actually does, um, call it an evolving commander. So we all got pre-cons and we upgrade them as we go yeah a set budget and uh my best friend got the zendikar rising uh the blue black sneak attack the rogues deck mm -hmm. deck is deceptively fast yeah well, for a pre-con straight out of the box it was just it was literally arch enemy at the table everyone had to focus on him that's awesome why he was just running away with it and it's it's happening more and more, which I'm like, honestly, like I'm super pumped about to see. Um, it's, it's, it's cool that they're, and I think it's in part because they are seeing the push that's happening with cards all around. So I think that's a big part of it, right? Is that like all the cards are getting a little bit better, but it's also because people's, and this is something I've seen people complaining about a little bit is the power level of people's commander decks overall is also increasing. So like people are sitting down and just being like, oh, it's like a casual deck and it's basically as high powered as you can get or like CEDH adjacent just because it's not playing Thorical, but it's playing like everything else, you know? Mm -hmm. So you're seeing that kind of more and more, which is, it's good and bad, you know? There's, there's definitely some positive aspects to that. Um, but like... You know, like I've been in this mindset of like, OK, I have to like build something that's like way powered down and I'll build something and purposely look for things that aren't staples and then be like, oh, yeah, I'm playing what I'm thinking is like. Just like some casual deck and I just get outpaced by a mile. Um, mm -hmm. 
so it's been it's been really interesting to kind of figure out where my place is in all that too uh, but that's you know again like a power level discussion is always going to be a little bit of a challenge okay we've got steve in the waiting room we're going to pull him up uh, hey can, can you hear us can you, you i don't know i don't know what just happened that's all good <laughs> oh and we've got video we've got visual okay Awesome. Yeah. You missed an, Holy crap. an amazing little roundtable discussion that uh, people, thankfully, uh, we've we've gained viewers since starting <laughs> that roundtable discussion. We've uh, it, it was a nice little podcast uh, intermission there. So nice little 20 minute, uh, 20 minute yeah. state, state of the union on Commander. Um, the good news is, Steve, uh, it's your turn. All right. <laughs> That's that is good. I'm I don't know what happened. Ah, uh, uh, that is not a land. So, I guess I'll just start by, I'll tap these, uh, and I'll cast a bio waste blob. Uh, oozes you control, get plus one, plus one, and at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control a commander, I get a token copy of it. All right. Uh, I get to draw, and I'll gain two life off of... Great Henge. Land. Hey, I hit it. What I want to see. Never didn't have it. Never didn't. Uh, and because that lets me go or to cast my commander. Storm count one. <laughs> so I will get one token copy of my commander um that'll enter and then the original will enter and it will get a plus one plus one counter and i will get to draw one off it from the, all right that from was the henge yep great henge is on etb or oh you draw one off your commander gotcha gotcha, gotcha. yeah you draw one off commander it's non-token yep uh, so I am done after that. I think the blobs are looking a little scary right now. I'm a little worried about blob time over there. I mean, um, to be fair, I'm also not sure if you just tutored up like a damnation to the top of your library. No, I tutored a survival and it got exploded immediately uh, because I didn't have the mana to go off with it. Uh, big draw. Um, that's going to be... Hmm. I'm gonna... Do any of the blobs have reach and or flying? Uh, no, they do not. All right, bats better than blobs. Confirm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna crack. I'm gonna. Oh. I'm gonna tap blooming marsh, and I will cast a crop rot. I will sacrifice the blooming marsh, and I'm gonna go look for a land unless. Uh, Somebody wants to counter it uh, after I've sacked my land as part of the casting clause. <laughs> no counters here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I always like when that. I I always like when a crop rotation resolves. Um, it it feels really bad when that spell does not resolve. <laughs> let me tell you. Or uh, better yet, when somebody flashes in a fucking even mind sensor. Um, oh yeah. You don't like uh, you don't like strip mining yourself. No, <laughs> hate that. Hate that so much. Uh. Um, that is such a feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. These should have more counters on them than they do. Uh, because of the, um... I thought it was just TV. for the ooze himself, but he gets plus one for each other ooze. So this one will enter with, uh, three, and then this one will enter with four. Oh, it's for each other. It's not just for each other version of that Yeah, character. that's... Yeah, and they get uh, and the ooze. It's the the main one. The commander gets one from Great Henge, No. Oh, it does too. Those are some, those some chunky boys. Those yeah. some big blobos. Not gonna yeah. lie, big big blobos. Um, Thirteen life is a little scary. Uh, yes, that is an elk uh, in Infinite Tokens. That is uh, that is a Kenrith transformation elk. Not an Oko elk. Uh, I'm gonna get Cradle. <laughs> Cradle seems like the way to go here. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind one. Two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> hmm. 
Don't like that. Sorry, big yawn time right now. I apologize. Very poor form on me on uh, on my part. Uh, um, yeah, crunching my commander just to play it again feels a little stupid. Uh, I will pass the turn. Uh, tap. Trigger. If it's evens, I take pain. All the one, I'm safe. Let's see, do some math. I'm never good at. I really wanted to do, but that's okay. So I'll go ahead and tap. I will tap the forest, or the compulsion forest, a green source. So I take one. And Ichthos and the Mana Crypt. So I have six floating. I will cast a Cogla, the Titan Ape. Ooh, spicy. Seven, six, ETB fights one target creature I don't control up to one target I don't control. Uh, whenever it attacks, destroy target artifact or enchantment, defending player controls. Uh, one in a green return target human I control to my hand. It gains indestructible until end of turn. Responses? Just, oh shit. Big, bigger monkey. What? <laughs> <laughs> Much bigger. Ragavan is evolving. Extremely. <laughs> do -do 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 <laughs> Very much so. What, any battling happening? With this Kogla? Uh, I'm trying fight? to think of where I want him to go. I don't know which of those blobs is the worst one, but they're all horrible. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why that's why I'm doing the big thinkies. Um a bio waste blob probably a good target. Yeah, that one will start creating extra bio waste on my upkeep. Not even know that one. Notice that one. I will um, head and blow up, uh, fight the bio waste blob with Kogla. Okay. And we'll go to combat. I will swing the Rex Sage at Alan. At me? Woof. Uh, I will block with uh, with Elko over here. Excellent. Pass turn. All right. Uh, end of your turn, Dan. I'll sacrifice Mortis Strider. It'll die. Return to my hand. I'll get another bat token. Uh-oh. Uh, I'll represent that with this dice. I have two bats. Two bats. Batty up in here. Untap. Draw a card. Ooh. -hoo. Let's see. Um. What am I gonna do? How many? How many oozes do you have, Stephen? One, two, three, four. Four oozes. What's their total power? Uh, five. Uh, seven. Three and three. Eighteen powers worth of oozes. Yeah. I'm making the same face you are, Dan. My eyebrows just <laughs> shot up. <laughs> Remember if this list runs blasphemous act. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna that was what you're gonna just cast. I'm gonna start with stolen goods. Who am I gonna target with stolen goods? Let's target I feel like Alan has the gas or the 
the power card. So let's target Alan. What is... So you'll exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a non-land card, and then I may cast that card without paying its mana cost. A non-land. I got a dark ritual. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Three black mana for me. <laughs> nice. It's like oh a low cost of four mana. <laughs> Hey, listen. At least, at least it almost paid for itself, right? Like it. Yeah. <laughs> that uh, that by far, by far my best stolen goods. Uh, what he's not telling us is Alan needed dark ritual to win no, on this I'm, turn, so you did good. I'm so glad to have that dark ritual not be the top card of my library anymore. Okay, I'm, okay. <laughs> I know how I want to use this dark ritual mana. I want to sacrifice my sanitarium skeleton to Demir Houseguard. To regenerate Demir House Guard, so there's a regenerative shield on my House Guard, and then I'll use the three black to return it, making a bat. All right, on three bats. Okay. And uh, let's see. Let's recast the Sanitarium Skeleton, and uh, I will. I guess I need to get a new bat token. I only have one, a singular bat token. I'm not prepared for so many bats. <laughs> Find a bunch of the Batman cards from, uh, I think it's Weiss Schwartz. That does Oh, perfect. Yeah. I'll send two bats in the air at Steven. All right. Well, I don't have any reach, unfortunately. Yeah, get it. Oh, it's like Echo Look Bat. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm all good? Yeah, your turn. Oh. Uh, <laughs> wow, infinite tokens are coming through clutch. If only there was a way to have that tokens. Oh man, yeah. If, <laughs> if I could like draw, if I could just draw my own bat tokens on something, that'd be sweet. If only there was a way. Yeah, somebody should come up with that. Um, let's see. What do I want to do? Um, if I do that, I have four. If I said Don Jack 74 with the follow a little while ago, as well as Hyboria. Thank you guys so much. Big, big love. Hmm. What do I want to do? Uh, probably not that. Damn. Really hoping to draw a land here, so I'm gonna gain two life and I'm gonna cast a semblance anvil. Okay. Uh, it's gonna imprint an ancient ooze. Okay. So now all my creature spells cost two less. Um, all right. and I guess, let's see. So then. That's six mana, boy. Semblance and I'm gonna cast a Lurk All Ingesting. It enters with five plus one plus one counters on it. Uh, whenever Slurk or another creature you control dies, it add a plus one plus one counter on it. Put a plus one plus one counter on each creature that has a plus one plus one counter on it. Uh, it's gonna enter with an additional counter off the Great Henge, and I'm gonna draw a card. Oh no! This is so bad. <laughs> So many oozes. Dang, I, I feel like this is a classic Nickelodeon, and we're all about to get slimed. We're definitely yeah. <laughs> about to be slime time out here. Uh, well, if I did that a little, oh wait, no, it wouldn't matter. Yeah, if I did that a little differently, maybe. Um, I'm gonna cast a wild growth on my forest. All uh, right, then I'm gonna go to some combat. Uh, Cogla is a seven six. You said is correct. Alright. Um, well, here's a 7-7 seven, seven going at you, Dan. Then, I don't know, I'm still still a little afraid of Alan, so I've got a 5-5 five, five coming at you, Alan. And then, your house guard is what? A 2-3. Two, 2-3. Three. Two, three. Uh, then I'll send these 2-3s at you, Peter. I will. You said what's coming at me? A five five? Uh, yeah, five five. Five five. I will. And is it 
is it a is it your commander? It's the token copy of my commander. Token copy of your commander. I will. Uh, hmm. No, that doesn't make sense. Um, that will turn off. That one, two, three, four, and we'll have. Okay, that one, two, three. Mm, no, it doesn't doesn't work. Uh, I will block with the elk. Okay. We'll declare no blockers. Yeah, no blocks for me either. Uh, I am done after that then. All right. Uh, no one taps. We do get big draws. Okay, I like that. That's cool-ish. Um, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's less cool. Um, uh, only having six mana is a little on the sad side. Um, so if I do... Two, three, four, five, six. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna do green for a spore frog. That's a good one. And then <laughs> Shay when you need her. Yeah. Uh Shay's been in the chat. She's probably just she's probably just turned it off when I cast that. Um and then we'll do two and I will crunch the Allosaurus Shepherd. Three, four, five. Six, and that's going to be Marin. Okay. Uh, I will proceed to end, and Marin trigger will target the Allosaurus Shepherd. Yep. There he is. It's your boy, the Dino Herder, uh, and I will pass the turn. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Spore Frog. Trigger crit. It's yeah, even... I'm really not sure how I win through Spore Frog. <laughs> I take pain. You might have like a one of those instant speed target creature fights another creature. Like those are those are a thing. Maybe the issue is I have to do it on someone else's turn, I guess, and then hope I got the swing in. Yep. Uh, have now we've got a mercy. Even. I've got a six six. Six six. Yep. Right, your uh, anvil thing. Yep. Well, the this guy. Right, slaughter. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Semblance anvil. How do you spell huh. it? S e m b l a n c e. Got it. Thank you. Card. Let's go ahead and do this. I will compulsion, not compulsion forced. We'll just go ahead and go straight to combat. Said that was a 7-7. Seven, seven. Even? Yep. Yeah. Oh, this is a 6-6. Six, 6-6? Six. Six, six? Yep. Yeah. We'll go ahead and... Gling Cogla at you. An attack trigger. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and blow up. The only artifacts are enchantments you have. You have a wild growth. So I've got... Yeah, so I've got Emerald Medallion, Semblance Anvil... Uh, oh, the Kenner's Transformation is now gone. Arcane Signet, the Great Henge, wild growth. Yeah. I think... Well, sorry, I won't... I won't uh, I'll let you figure it out unless you're looking for suggestions. 
I'm definitely gonna hit that henge. Yeah, that's the right yeah, call. Yeah, that's, that's, that's definitely the smart. That's the right call for sure. Wanted to make sure there wasn't something else hidden, like a random three three blocker. No, just the six six. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I will swing at you with a seven six. All right, well, I'll definitely block. I will go ahead and activate Catholic Wolf Run. You go ahead and give him plus four plus O. Oh. Okay, Rainbow. so I take five. Yes. And they trade. Uh, and then when Slurm dies, he's get another counter. No. <laughs> I don't like it. Who's <laughs> is too strong. <laughs> and that'll be turn. All right. Untap. Draw a card. Cool. I'll play Scavenger Grounds. And... Scavenger Grounds? There's definitely a skeleton on that card. Lo and lots, lots of bones yeah. in that card. I don't like let's, that card. Let's attack Steven in the air for three. Mm. Take three. And you have four creatures, right, Steven? One, two, three, four, yep. Cool. Hmm. Hmm. And then there's a spore frog on the battlefield. It is. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cast Mortis Strider. Like this. Mortis Strider. Right, that was out. Some call him... Strider. Uh, I'll pass after that. Okay. Leave up the scavenger grounds. That card has cool ass art for sure. Oh. <laughs> Just a heckin' long snack. Oh, hey. Nightmare. Um. Well, I guess I'll I'll start with some combat. Oh, right to combat. Yeah, well, I might as well attack first, ask questions later. Um, that eight plus six, and that you, Dan. Wow, just, just punching Dan. Um, yeah, um, and then I've got these two three threes coming at you, Peter, and I've got an attack trigger on the absorbable blob. Okay. Uh, so if that result, if delirium trigger, uh, it'll get another three three tapped and attacking. Who's the three three it. attacking? Uh, it'll be attacking you, Peter. Okay. I'm going to set blocks on all of the three threes coming at me. Right. Here will be the, the second blob. All right, and I will sacrifice the Mortis Strider to Demir House Guard to regenerate it. Okay. Dies, comes back. I'll get a bat token. Which will be represented by this bird for now. And okay. Then, uh, combat damage. Demir House Guard will regenerate, and Sanitarium Skeleton will die. Okay. Um. Yeah. I will, I will, I will be, I will be cold as fuck and watch Dan get murdered. <laughs> For a second, I, hope, I thought you were gonna say you're gonna save him. I was like, no, nope, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a cold customer and watch Dan get killed by ooze. Rip Dan. Uh, oh, bye. Uh, I thought, well, I thought, I definitely was like thinking about it, but uh, yeah, uh, Steve definitely uh, played played to the strengths of me having a spore frog and was like, let me kill everybody yeah. else. <laughs> I didn't like to do it, but I, I didn't have much of an else choice. Um, then on my second main, I still need to draw more, so I'm going to cast a Glimpse of Nature. Yup. That draws cards. Yep. Uh, then for two manas, I'm going to cast a Gobbling Ooze. 
Uh, I can pay a green, sacrifice another creature to put a plus one, plus one counter on the Goblin Ooze. Uh, and I will draw. Yep. Uh, why is my arcane that should be untapped? I haven't cast anything yet. Yep. Yeah. I will it should be untapped. Draw. Um. Well, I guess this is probably the. Let's see. So okay. This is probably the best time to use this. Uh, two green. I'm gonna cast a sprouting vines. Uh, it's search through your library for a basic land, reveal that card, put it in your hand, uh, and then it's got Storm, so I'll get two additional copies of it. All right. Um, I will play one of those lands, uh, and I will pass after that. All right. Here it is. Big top deck time. Uh, big draws. Of course. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, unfortunately, not interesting enough. Um, I will. Oh, man. You got some bros in your graveyard, uh, Steve, yeah? Uh, some creatures, yeah. I've got uh, Slurk. Actually, that's the only creature in there is Slurk. Lurk. All right, let's look it up. Slurk all ingesting. Uh, okay. For six? Uh, uh, five, five? Yeah, five, five for six is interesting. Um, I'm a little worried about birds. I'm going to just play for it though um oh wait, i'm sorry i've got a bio waste blob too bio waste blob is a little you just get plus one plus one at the beginning of your upkeep if you've got your commander he gets another copy um and is it oozes you control get plus one plus one uh oozes you control yep okay and if you control your commander you get an extra one and what's the cmc on that four Four. Okay. Uh, that's a little better. Um. Um. I will. I'm. I'm gonna pass. All right. End step, I'm going to activate Santarium Skeleton's, Skeleton's ability to return it to my hand. Yep. Get bat number two. Untap. Got five bats untapping. You're off return. Let's send... How many creatures do you have... Even now, five creatures? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six creatures. Hmm. Interesting. They keep growing. They keep on growing. Hmm. Okay, okay, let's just, uh, you have six creatures, yep. and they're pretty big. Moderately sized. <laughs> okay, I'll send seven your way. Five of it is in the air, and... Two of it is on the ground, but it has fear. Ah. I have to take seven then, drop to nine. Hmm. I feel like we're just going to let Alan win. I don't know. It's. I'm a the issue, the issue is Spore Frog gets a lot better when it's 1v1 than 2v1. Yes. Yeah, I know. 
think uh, that's... well, okay, okay. Hold on. How much, uh, so, I mean, are you just gonna try and kill me on your next turn, Steven? I don't know. Is there some sort of deal we can work out? <laughs> well, I'm just, if, if you're not gonna try and kill me, then I don't need to do the play I want to do. And instead, I can leave up scavenger grounds for that spore frog. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna try to kill you. I'm gonna definitely at least I'm gonna definitely get him to hit the the spore ground the spore frog. Okay, because I I think we need each other, right? Us yeah. tribal decks gotta stick together. Okay, I'm, I'll just so before we get too deep into deal making, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a wrench into it. Uh, I'm gonna tap two, and I'm gonna assassin's trophy the scavenger grounds. Oh no. <laughs> Get that thing out of here, <laughs> first of all. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Don't Do you have any creatures in the bin right now? No. I'm going to okay. bunch of instants and enchantments and shit. I'll float a colorless mana, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, never mind. <laughs> never <laughs> mind, Steven. <laughs> um, to, to, to give you a little bit of insight, I was asking Steve about creature. I was asking Steve about creatures in his graveyard. Um, yeah. So it may be worth exiling his. No, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, cause he only has one creature. He didn't do anything with it last time. Okay. And, uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I want the mana. Gotcha. So I got one colorless floating. I'm gonna overload that cyclonic rift. Overload Cyclonic Rift? No, be no, amazing. Much, it's much, much better. Okay, I'm, I'm much going better. back to my original plan before we started chatting, Stephen. Oh I boy, like you're not gonna like it. <laughs> there you go. That's that's why I did this <laughs> sowing dissension. <laughs> One floating, two blacks, three, and then we got six. Cool. Six mana. In um. Mana. So float six. I'm gonna sacrifice all of my bats. Oh my god. To this. Dude, this dude right here. He's super regenerated. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cast Deadly Tempest, which is destroy all creatures. Oh. Each player loses life equal to the number of creatures he or she controlled that were destroyed this way. All right, I've got a response. <laughs> Me too. I'm going <laughs> to sacrifice two of my, my dudes, the, the ooze. Yep. I will crunch... The Allosaurus Shepherd with the Phyrexian Tower, and I will sacrifice the Spore Frog. All in response. So I will lose. Uh, Marin will be destroyed. I will lose one life. I'll take four. And I don't lose anything. Oh, because and... the Demir House Guard is super regenerated? Right, so That's regeneration, so <laughs> it doesn't die. Instead, it just gets tapped. Mm -hmm. And then I will cast the Sanitarium Skeleton. Nice, got there. I'll pass the turn. <laughs> big, bra big brains. Fucking skeletons are looking like problem right now. Uh, that's, that's Spore Frog, though. That's Sneaky, Sneaky Spore Frog. Oh, I'm off Marin Mana now. She costs eight, and I have okay. four mana. Uh, <laughs> so you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> there's definitely there's a there's a very good chance. Um, um I guess I'll start off three mana to Sky Shroud claim. Yeah, two force into play untapped. Let's see. Wow, Sky Shroud claim with uh with Emerald Medallion. Yeah, it's pretty decent. Yeah. <laughs> um I will play my land for turn. Uh so it's uh, then for three mana, I hate that I have to do this now, but I'm going to have to force a Vigor your uh, tomb. 
All right. Ah. Uh, Hard cast. Heartbreaking. Is that destroy? Yes. Okay. There's no other artifacts that aren't on my side, so. <laughs> I was gonna say. My my engine, my but, sweet sweet engine that I had this whole game. <laughs> and, and that was a hard cast force of vigor. Yeah, love you right there. Uh, respect. <laughs> yep. And then for four mana, I'm recasting Ave. Mm-hmm. Form count, I get or two copies. So the first one will enter without uh, for each other ooze. The second one will enter with one count, and the third one will enter with two. Poison Reasoning, what's up? Good to see you. Glad you made it. Uh, then I am done after that. I've got one card left in hand. All right, there is not a lot of things that are going to get me out of this mess right now. So uh, here's the hoping. Big draws. Oh, my God. Off the top, the one card that gets there. Let's see who's got the counter magic. Boy. That's going to be three. <laughs> For uh, Buried Alive. Okay, that's pretty that's good. good. <laughs> off, buried Alive off the top. Uh, and we're going to put the stuff yeah, no in the bin. Oh, my God. That was the top deck of the century. Uh, Marin provides right now. We'll see if I get hosed by, like, a Noxious Revival or some shit, though. Um scavenging grounds oh wait rip rip we'll, to the legend we'll put the three in there one two three i cannot believe that top deck and with the so i was just disappointed i didn't have a heroic intervention for that wrath yo <laughs> uh with the last remaining mana no that, that's to reanimate oh uh, no and that brings out the ooze, and we go to town. There is, I've definitely got more than 27 CMC left in the deck for sure. Yep. Yep. Oh, man. I was, I was thinking like Buried Alive would get there, or like m maybe like a ritual to let me do, like, I don't even know at that point. Buried Alive was the card, though, right off the yep. top. Big, <laughs> big dubs. Yeah.